Hey everybody, so I am doing just a quick video uh, judging some of the best um, saltwater fish to keep in your Nana Reef Aquarium. So right now we're on BigAlsPets.com. It was the first link on Google, so I figured I would start uh, with this one and maybe we can make this into a little bit of a series here. So starting off with Big Al's Aquariums, um, they have some great photos here. They mentioned clownfish, totally agree with that. Clownfish are perfect uh, Nana Reef fish. They're Great for beginners, they're really hardy, they stay pretty small depending on which breed you go with. Um, if you want to stay away from larger clownfish, probably stay away from the maroon clown or the blood orange clown like I have. Um, Ocellaris are a great uh, clownfish, especially if you get the captive bred ones, so just keep that in mind. Um, firefish are another great uh, nano reef fish, they're pretty small. Um, I think they only get like three or four inches long and they're pretty skinny um, and I do believe they like to be with other firefish. I think they like to be in a, not a school but just a couple other ones just to have some company there. Um, so keep that in mind too. These guys, the firefish I'm pretty sure are jumpers so if you do get firefish just make sure you have a lid on your aquarium. Um, and then gobies, uh, this is a pretty broad um, assumption that a goby is a nana reef fish because many gobies are i mean like the clown goby for example is a great little nana reef fish but at the same time there probably are gobies out there that can get pretty large um off the top of my head i can't think of many but uh, you also got to be careful because there's gobies like the mandarin goby which are not so great for nana reef tanks because they need copepods and it's really hard to have a you know really uh, hardy um culture of copepods in such a nano reef tank so just keep that in mind if your tank is like 10 gallons or really small you probably don't have enough copepods for like a mandarin goby something like that um clingfish this is actually something really interesting because i had never heard of a clingfish ever um so i went to live aquaria and sure enough yellow striped clingfish um i i've never heard of this fish in my life max size two inches this fish makes me like super excited i mean it looks pretty affordable for a saltwater fish looks really cool um, I don't know if it like hides or if it comes out a lot or not. It's in the uh, like goby family. Not even gonna try to pronounce that. Um, minimum tank size is ten gallons. Like, have you guys ever heard of this fish? Because I've I've never heard of this clingfish before. So if you heard of the clingfish, uh, let me know because that is actually just really interesting. I'm also curious what other kind of clingfish are out there. So maybe I'll do a video on that because I've never even heard of the clingfish. Like this is, it's just awesome when you find a fish you've never even heard of. So that's probably a pretty good recommendation. Cardinal fish, these are awesome fish. These are those black and white little cardinals like you saw in my reef tank uh, video where we went through the uh, aquariums at Epcot. Um, there's also pajama cardinals, which are these, uh, they, they always kind of remind me of like ghost-like fish, almost like spirits or something where they're like an opaque white um, with the like spots on the back and they're kind of like purplish, I believe on the front if I remember correctly. Um, they just remind me of like a, like a, I don't know, so they're such different fish, but these are great because they um, are pretty small. They don't swim a ton, so make sure your current is not too crazy. Um, they also do like to be in like a community. You know, they like to have a lot of cardinal fish in the tank, so just make sure you get a couple of them. I think the problem you'll have with a cardinal fish is usually if you only get two, they may pair up and then they don't really take well to other cardinal fish if they're paired up. Um, so if you have like a community of like five or six of them, it'll just make sure that they don't, uh, well, hopefully they don't pair up into like pairs of two and then fight each other. Um, I have had that happen one time where I had three cardinal fish and two paired up and kind of exiled the other one. Um, and that was in a 40 gallon tank. So just keep that in mind. Um, basslet fish. So I believe these are gramas, like royal gramas. Um, I mean, judging by the family name here, that sounds uh, probably like a fair assumption, but Royal Gramas, they're awesome fish. I have uh, had them, I think, one time. They're like little yellow and purple fish. Anyways, Royal Gramas are, are a great fish too. They stay pretty small. Um, they're really colorful, really pretty. So far, I really like this list. I'm pretty much agreeing with everything they have on here. Um, the yellow-headed jawfish is something they mention. I've heard of jawfish being a great uh, fish for reef tanks as well because they kind of just make their little den. They live in there, and that's kind of like their life. Um, so that's probably a fair assumption. And there's plenty of jawfish out there. I'm not sure if any of them get too big in particular, but just keep that in mind. Um, there's also blennies. Uh, blenny, again, is like a really wide term. Uh, there's a lot of blennies out there. You could have uh, like a lawnmower blenny um, would probably be a good one. But there's probably blennies that get pretty large, so I'd just be careful with blennies. Um, blennies are also like... They're not, I feel like blinnies aren't the most colorful fish or the most entertaining fish, so they're not my favorite, but 
I've heard they do have a lot of personality, so maybe that's uh, maybe that is worth a look. And then there is the two-spined angelfish, which at first I had no idea what they meant by this, um, but apparently that is a coral beauty. Apparently a coral beauty angelfish is also a two-spined angelfish. Um, so I went on here and I went um, to what's that fish? Uh, dot com and two-spined angelfish. Sure enough, coral beauty right there, also known as you know rusty angelfish, pygmy angelfish, all that kind of stuff. And this is again just what's that fish dot com, but uh, pretty neat because I've had coral beauties in the past and I've had rusty angels in the past too, um, and they were great fish. I used to have them in a thirty-six gallon tank. And uh, what I would recommend from my experience, if you get an angelfish, just get one. Um, it, you could get like a lemon peel or a fire angel or a coral beauty or a rusty angel, but just get one. Don't get two. Um, if you have a really big tank, you could probably get two. Um, like if you got like 100, 150 gallons or something crazy like that. I don't know exactly what tank sizes they wouldn't fight in, but in my 36 gallon, it was a little, um, a little too small for two of them. So just keep that in mind. Um, and then the weird thing about this list, the Big Al's blog here says that this is 10 best saltwater fish to keep in your nano reef aquarium, but they mention a tire track eel down here. They mentioned tire track eel. I'm like, the last time I thought about tire track eels, it, the tire track eel was a freshwater fish, if I remember correctly. And I looked up um, on Big Al's site, you know, just to see what their reference was to the tire track eel and how they care for your new tire track eel. And they say, uh, you know, a unique uh, creature to inhabit your freshwater aquarium. So I don't know, are, are there saltwater? tire track eels. I tried Googling live aquaria and things like that, and I couldn't find anything. Um, if there are uh, freshwater tire track or, or saltwater tire track eels, you know, please let me know. I'd, I'd love to see a link and kind of research that because I think they're pretty cool fish. Um, but if not, here's, you know, just the honorable mention for the freshwater fish. Um, and if you guys have stuck around this long, please just remember to leave a like, uh, comment, subscribe. I do think that this list is pretty good. Um, I think some of these are a little general, like Gobi is a little general, and so is the Blinny uh, categorization here is both a little general. So just be careful and do your due diligence and research there. Um, overall, though, this is a great list. If you had like a 25 or 30 gallon tank, this would be like perfect to get like two clownfish, maybe a couple firefish, and maybe like one Gobi. Or if you wanted to change it up, you could get like you know, a bunch of fish that move a lot. Maybe you get like a goby, a clingfish, um, maybe a jawfish and a blinny, that kind of thing. Or if you just want one like showpiece fish, you could get like some kind of two-spined angelfish and two clownfish. Um, just keep in mind that, you know, these fish do grow. They do get, you know, maybe like three or four inches at maximum size. So, you know, you might be able to fit five small fish in your tank when they're little, but once they grow, that five fish won't do so well in the 25-gallon tank or 30-gallon tank. So just keep that in mind. I, I would recommend if you're going to, keep saltwater fish maybe do like one fish per 10 gallons and just try and and be careful right now i've still just got my um i've still just got my blood orange clown and my neon goby in the 25 gallon and they're doing great together um, but if i add any fish i'd probably only add like maybe one or two really small fish next like maybe i'd add a clown goby i really want a clown goby um, and maybe like one more clown if they uh, if i can find one that it's also a blood orange clown and and either a smaller or much larger size that way they'll pair really really nicely there. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your view. Uh, let me know what you think of this list in the comments. Do you agree with uh, everything we talked about here? Um, I think this is a pretty fair list. Um, you know, if you had to change this list, like do you think some of these fish would rank higher than the others? Maybe uh, maybe the goby ranks higher than the firefish in some people's minds. Um, maybe the, you know, blenny is lower on the list for some people. I'm not sure, but this is a pretty fair assumption. Um, so anyways, have a great day, guys. Take it easy.